Welcome to the tutorial on using the TrackIR plugin for Unreal Engine. TrackIR is a motion tracking system that allows you to control your in-game camera movements by simply moving your head. With a little work, you can integrate these head movements into your own games, including those made in Unreal Engine. To begin, start a new instance of Unreal Engine or a game that you've already been working on and download the TrackIR SDK plugin for Unreal Engine. For this tutorial, we are using the first-person template project included with Unreal Engine. Navigate to the main folder for your game and create the new folder called Plugins. Download the TrackIR plugin for Unreal Engine, then paste the TrackIR plugin into this folder. Close Unreal Engine and Visual Studio. Return to your uProject file, right-click and select Generate Visual Studio Project Files to automatically update your project to use the TrackIR plugin in your Plugins folder. If you're using a Blueprint-based project, you'll need to separately package the TrackIR plugin for the version of Unreal Engine your game uses, then include that package version in your Plugins folder in the game or as a general Unreal Engine plugin. To confirm that the plugin was added successfully, go to Edit, Plugins, and confirm that TrackIR is listed under the Project section. For the First Person Example project that's found in First Person Blueprints, the next step is to navigate to your game character and set it up to work with the TrackIR. Once the character blueprint is open, navigate to the event graph and create an event begin play object if one does not already exist. Create a blueprint object for your camera. In this case, it's called First Person Camera Component. Add the TrackIR component to your character, then drag it into the event graph. Drag from the TrackIR component to create a set selected camera object and connect all the other objects to it as well. Optionally, in the camera object, turn off the Use Pawn Control Rotation setting if needed. Click Compile and Save, then return to your main game view. Click Play and start moving your head to control the camera. For games using a third-person camera, the steps are the same other than some name changes. You will need to apply some extra logic to games that switch between first and third-person cameras. For more help, consult our help page or navigate to our online documentation. Thank you for watching, and happy creating!